In this video, I'll be creating a provisioning package using Windows Configuration Designer. The package will include all the settings necessary to skip up the box experience, install Windows updates, and install software using Chocolaty. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. The main ones are to install the software packages that you see here. Also to install Windows updates, I will also include all the necessary settings to skip after the box experience and I will also be disabling sleep for the monitor and the computer. And then the result will look like this. Basically I will have two provisioning stages. The first one will be performed by the provisioning package itself in the out of the box experience. And here I will be installing Chocolaty, configuring everything that I need for auto logon and that includes skipping off of the box experience, skipping privacy experience, creating admin user without a password and adding admin to administrators group. Also here I will be disabling sleep for the computer and the monitor. And also I will be configuring a run once registry key to execute the second stage. And I will be executing the second stage by executing a PowerShell script called provisioning.ps1. And then in the second stage, I will be waiting for the network connection because we don't want to start checking for Windows Update if we don't have internet access. Then we'll be setting up PS Windows Update module because I will be using this module for installing Windows Updates. After that, we'll be installing Windows Updates themselves and then installing software using Chocolaty. And this second stage will be executed by running a PowerShell script called provisioning.ps1 that I already prepared for this video. And now I will begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for this provisioning package and I will start with Chocolaty. And for that, I will scroll down a bit, click on the link that I have here, and it brings me to Chocolaty GitHub page. Then I will click on the release here. And here I will be downloading the MSI file. I will click on the link here. It should start the download for me. Then I will go back to my GitHub page, scroll up a bit. And here we have a few more files. And the first file that we need is setup PS1. So I will click on it. And as you can see, it's a very simple PowerShell script. Here I'm creating a provisioning folder on the client machine in C program data folder. After that, I'm copying all the files from the provisioning package to that folder. And in the end, I'm configuring run once in the local machine hive for executing the provisioning.ps1 script. And the provisioning ps1 script is responsible for installing Windows updates and installing all the software using Chocolaty. And to download this file, I will click on the button right here. Then I will go back to the GitHub page and click on the second file. And this is this one, provisioning.ps1. So let's click on it. And as you can see, it's another PowerShell script. And here in the first part, I'm waiting for the internet connection by pinging Google's DNS servers. And if they don't respond, I'm sleeping for five seconds and then trying again. And this will happen over and over again until we get a response. After that, we're installing Nougat Package Manager and we need that to install PS Windows update module. And after we get that module, we are checking for Windows updates. If we have available updates, we install the updates. After installing the updates, we are checking if the computer needs a reboot. And if the computer needs a reboot, we're configuring a run once, once again, to execute the same script. And then after configuring run once, we're restarting the computer. And this script will be executed once again after a reboot. And it will once again check for updates, install if it finds more available updates, check for the restart, and this time, if the restart is not necessary, it will use Chocolaty to install the software packages that you see here. And you can modify this list, you can add more packages or remove the existing ones, you can do whatever you like. And one thing that you should know here is that I'm using ignore checksums parameter when I'm installing software using Chocolaty. And this is a very not recommended parameter, but sometimes few of the packages get outdated and we cannot use the package to install the software until the maintainer updates the package without this parameter right here. So keep that in mind if you are trying to use the script. And that's basically it. After installing all the software packages, the script will write all done. And here we have our read host command and it only prevents the command line from closing so we can see all the results. Anyways, let's download this file by clicking on the button right here. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And now we have all the necessary files for the provisioning package. And now I will go to Windows Configuration Designer and start creating the provisioning package. 
Here I will click on file, then a new project. I will name the project package. Then I will click next, next. Here I will select all Windows desktop editions and then click next and finish. And here I will begin configuring the second stage first because I want to demonstrate how it works without any other settings. And for that, I will go to runtime settings. First, let's go to provisioning commands, primary context and command. And the first command that we'll be creating here is for installing the chocolatey. So let's name it install chocolatey. Then let's click add here. Let's click on the command here. And here we need to provide the command file. That is the installation file for the chocolatey and also command line. So for the command file, I will click browse. Then I will go to my downloads folder and select the MSI file for chocolatey installation. And for the command line, I will go to my GitHub page because here I have all the necessary commands. And this one is for installing chocolatey. So I will copy it and I will paste it here. Now let's go to device context. Let's expand it and let's click on command files. Let's click browse here and then go to our downloads folder. And here we need to select the provisioning PS1 and the setup PS1. And let's Click on open and add here. And as you can see, the files appeared here. And now we want to configure our provisioning package to execute setup PS1 because setup PS1 will be configuring run once to execute provisioning PS1 on the computer. And to do that, I will click on the command line right here. And then I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I will be copying this command. And then I will be pasting it here. And now let's create a provisioning package and see how everything works without any other settings. And to do that, let's go to export provisioning package. Let's click next here, next, next, build, and then let's click on the output location. Here we only care about the package.ppkg file. I will right click it, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation because here I have few virtual machines prepared for this video. And I will be using this one right now. I will move the package file to this computer's desktop. Then I will open file explorer and go to C program data folder. And as you can see, currently we don't have chocolatey or the provisioning folder here. And also let's open registry editor. And here we want to go to local machine, software, Microsoft, uh, Windows, current version, and somewhere here we should have run once. Currently we have no values here. And now let's execute the provisioning package and see the changes that it will make. Let's click yes, add it and let's wait a bit. And as you can see, after executing the provisioning package, chocolatey folder appeared here and also we have our provisioning folder. If I go inside of the chocolatey folder, we can see all the chocolatey files here. That means that chocolatey was successfully installed. And we can also check the provisioning folder. And here we have our provisioning PS1 script that is responsible for installing Windows updates and software using Chocolatey. Now let's check the registry. If I go here and click on view and then refresh, we can see a new registry entry for executing provisioning. If I click on it, we can see that this registry entry will be executing PowerShell and then PowerShell will be executing our provisioning script. And this registry entry will be executed after a successful sign in to the computer. And to trigger this registry entry now, we need to sign out from the computer and then sign back in. So let's try that. Let's close everything here. Let's sign out from admin user and then let's sign back in. And as you can see, our script is executed here. It should install Nougat Package Manager, install the PS Windows Update PowerShell module and start checking for updates, then installing updates. And after that, if the reboot is not necessary, it should start installing software. So for now, everything seems to be working just fine. And that means that we can go back to our Windows Configuration Designer and continue creating our package. Let's close this window right here. And first let's disable the out of the box experience and for that let's go to ubi right here let's click on desktop and here we have hide ubi and here let's select true 
Now let's go back to the primary context and command and let's create another command. Let's name it disable privacy and let's click add and here we'll be disabling the privacy experience screen. Let's go to the GitHub page and it's the screen right here that we get after creating a user account and then logging in for the first time. And let's copy the command here. As you can see here, we are creating a registry entry in the UB key with the entry disabled privacy experience and the value one. And that's all that we need to do to skip that screen. And basically we are done here. Now let's create another command. Let's name it create admin. Let's click add, then select the command here. Once again, we only need to provide the command line. Let's go back to the GitHub page. And here I have the command that I will be using in for this action. And as you can see, it's a single line, but we have two commands here. The first one is for creating the admin user. And the second one is for adding admin user to the administrators group. So let's copy this command, go back to the Windows Configuration Designer. Let's paste in the command here. Now let's create another command, this time for disabling the sleep settings. Let's name it disable sleep. Let's click add. Click on the command here and let's provide the command line. Once again, the command is in my GitHub page and I will copy this command from here and paste it here. And that's it. I'm done configuring this package. Now let's create the provisioning package and see how it works. So for that, let's go to export provisioning package. Let's click next, 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 confirm and build. Let's click on the output location. I will right click on the package, select copy, and then I will go to my USB drive and move the file here. And now let's go back to the VMware workstation. As you can see in this virtual machine, we are already done installing all the software and here we can see that we have had a single update and that we installed it. So everything seems to be working just fine. And that means that our provisioning package should also work just fine from the out of the box experience. Now let's go to this virtual machine that is in the out of the box experience and let's uh, connect our USB drive so that the provisioning process starts. And for that, I will go to VM and I will connect the usb drive and as you can see the provisioning package was executed and now let's wait and see what's going to happen and after executing all the settings in our provisioning package we went straight from the out of the box experience to admins desktop and our provisioning script was also automatically executed and as you can see now it's currently installing our updates for this computer And as you can see, after installing the first batch of updates, the computer was restarted. And now it's, it is running the provisioning script for the second time. It found a single update and after installing that, it started the software installation. And it seems that we are done installing all the software packages. So now let's explore the computer a bit more. Let's go to settings. Let's try checking for updates. And it says that we are up to date. So everything is fine here. Let's go to the control panel. Uninstall a program. And here we have our software packages. We can see that we have 7-zip installed, Adobe Reader, Google Chrome. LibreOffice, Mozilla Firefox, Node++, Teams Machine White Installer. That means that we currently don't have Teams, but it will be installed during another sign-in to the computer and also VLC Media Player. So everything seems to be fine here. Let's close. No, let's go back to the control panel. Let's check our power settings. Power options, change plant settings. We have, and we see here that 
or turn off the display we are set to never and same goes for put the computer to sleep and that means that the provisioning process was successful and that we have all the settings that we needed and that's it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one